It's absolutely mind blowing when I'm playing with boats, even like this Ultrafuge that was made in 2001, that sometimes the seats were not adjustable at all. They put the seat in at the factory, drilled in two holes and bolted in. That's where it was forever. So obviously in the modern age, that's unacceptable. So let's look at making seats adjustable, figuring out if the seat isn't adjustable in the first place and making the backer plates from scratch. This one is a Piranha. And in this case, because this boat came to me in pieces from a dude who never finished converting it to C1, I've got to make one from scrap metal. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick. So for starters, when I throw a flashlight inside this boat, you can see that while light comes out of the two holes, there's no other part of the boat that's lighting up. If I throw it under another piece of plastic, you can see the flashlight come right through. So that tells me that there's no track carved into the seat. How are we going to make the seat slide? We're going to carve a track in. So there you go. As promised, there is nothing in there but two holes. So the first thing we're going to have to do is make a slot. So for starters, we're going to make this mounting plate out of a piece of flat bar aluminum. This one is three quarter wide by one eighth inch tall and three feet long. I got it for five bucks. So what that is gonna do eventually is go inside the seat like any other mounting plate. But first we need to figure out how long it's gonna be. This piranha one that I just happen to have sitting around, yeah, I can measure that but call it two, three inches. I'm just going to trace it onto the bar stock and cut two lengths. That's plenty long, really doesn't matter. Why am I not just using the old mounting plates you might ask? Look at that, back in the day they screwed them much closer together. So even though this spacing is standard between both Piranha and Dagger, worthless today. So we are going to take these new aluminum blanks, try to center them underneath the existing drilled holes and mark with a sharpie. So with the holes marked out on my blank, I am going to drill and tap them like here to accept the standard dagger and piranha bolts. So that requires a drill and tap set which is a six millimeter by one. With the plate all done, I'm gonna go to the seat and mark out where my slot's gonna be. This is pretty simple. I'm gonna use the edge as a straight edge line the holes up and just mark how far I want the slot to go. You want it to be far enough that you have an adjustability in the seat, which means it needs to extend on both sides of the hole by how far it's gonna slide, but you don't want it to be so wide that you're gonna be able to pull the plate clean through the seat. Once that's marked, we're going to drill out the ends and cut out. There you go, slotted seat, threaded plate, and adjustability. Interesting turn of events. Turns out that this hump on the face of the dagger seat is basically how they line it up in the factory to just pop those two drill holes in. So I am going to have to knock it off to slide the seat back. Draw a little bit of heat. Doesn't look too bad. Alright, let's see if the melt job worked now that it's all solidified. Yep, 
no problem. The last thing I'm going to do before I reassemble is I am going to notch the back pillar so that the seat has somewhere to slide. We did all this work, but if the seat is ramming against the back pillar, it's not going anywhere, right? So very important not to forget that. I'm also just going to knock off the front of the pillar so it's not in my way and also so it doesn't stop the slide there. All done, all ready to reassemble. And you can take a quick look and see we have completely maxed out how far the back travel is. So if for some reason you really wanted to smash all the way back in and cram into the smallest boat possible, this is how you do it. Once everything is fully reassembled, what I like to do is pick a subtle spot like this and slide the seat all the way forward, make a line, slide the seat all the way back, make a line, make a line in the middle, and then slide the seat between the middle and all the way back. And then now I have an idea when I'm moving my seat around of where I actually am in the range.